have you shut down your psychic gifts in one of your previous lifetimes? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Soho and I help light workers and star seeds to remember who they are. And in this video, I want to talk about shutting down your psychic gifts, your abilities, your magical powers. This is something that I talked about in one of my previous monthly classes. And I think it can bring a value to some of you because it may be the case for some of you. This doesn't apply to everybody, but if it applies to you, you will feel the resonance at your soul level. So in the previous golden ages, what happened, what I saw to many light workers happening is that as the golden age was slowly dissolving and the consciousness was falling, that many light workers were pur on purpose basically shutting down their psychic gifts. And the reason for that is because they knew that there is a fall of consciousness. There will be denser frequency on the earth for a very long time. And so they knew that to protect themselves in a way, it's safer and easier to shut down their gifts. And now shutting down your gifts is not so crazy complicated, especially when you know you would be an initiate in the previous golden ages or if you had studied spirituality or if you at the temple schools I mean and if you have some kind of spiritual background it's not so crazy complicated process in the end. I have seen that for some groups of initiates or we would call it light workers there would have been uh, some master figure who may have shut down their, their gifts for them to kind of like keep them safe and protected because um, one thing that is very important to mention is that we do evolve through certain cycles as a collective and so when we are in the golden age. It's only natural that many people open up their psychic gifts and their magical powers. But as the golden age dissolves, then also many of those psychic gifts and magical powers, they start dissolving as well. And in some cases, what could happen is that the master or the high priestess or the highest magician may have shut down those gifts for a whole group of initiates, a whole group of people. And so now in this life, you may feel like, oh, once I had some gifts, I know it, but I don't know how to open them up. There is something blocking it. Now, Usually those blockages or these things that are blocking your powers to fully come online, they are there for some kind of reason. As I had said, mostly it was to protect yourself, to keep you safe. And this is also something that you could do to yourself, right? To decide to shut down your gifts. And there were good reasons. So usually you need to get a certain level of spiritual maturity. I don't have better word for it. Because it's just like you have to build up that spiritual light within yourself to a certain level and be able to hold that light. And then those gifts will start coming back online. In most cases, this is enough. In some cases, there had to be some kind of deeper unraveling being done and deeper healing and stepping more into your power because some cases are more complicated why those gifts were shut down. Also, I want to say that as we are aligning with those cycles, cycles they naturally have some starting point, then they reach the peak, the maximum and equilibrium position. This is where our gifts are the most open and then they start to dissolve. And so for many people, their gifts just disappear naturally as the result of the consciousness falling. Also, some beings, uh, masters and ascended masters, they've been able to 
contain their memories intact. They've been able to also keep their spiritual gifts, their psychic gifts and magical powers intact. And they can do it because they are able to hold that spiritual light in their system. Because that remembrance, remembering different lifetimes and truly remembering your soul's journey is very much tied with the amount of spiritual light that your being, your vessel carries. And this is something that we can build up during a lifetime as we are spiritually working on ourselves. And it is also something that the soul can decide to bring into that current incarnation. So some souls have decided that they will bring in more spiritual essence and the spiritual light. And so thus they are able to remember their previous lifetimes and never forget it. And so those people are able to have their gifts open basically since they were born. For uh, other people, they have to build up certain spiritual light and then those gifts open up. Also, I want to mention that in some cases, and I don't know percentage-wise how many cases there have been like these, but in some cases, uh, some people would misuse their power in one of those golden ages. So those were the people who had the gifts open, active. They were on the spiritual path. And for some reason, again, reasons may vary, they have misused their power. And when this happens, it's like you build up lots of spiritual light in your system. There's lots of high energy running through you and then you misuse your power. This is usually something that happens over a period of time. It doesn't happen like from zero to hundred percent. There are signs along the way. And so when you do actually end up misusing the power, then what happens to your energetic system is that you burn down your higher centers, meaning the higher chakras burn down, they are not able to carry that spiritual light anymore. And your consciousness kind of falls down into your lower chakras. And there it's kind of like, you know, um, stuck for some time, meaning like in next lifetimes, you have to build yourself up from scratch. And this is a case of quite a few light workers as well because this this is just from the experience i have working with light workers what i have noticed during the sessions is that some beings were very powerful in so-called past or in on a different planet different star systems and something happened and for some reason they have misused their power and then they had to almost like build themselves up again. And this is one of the reasons I believe at least that some people have a fear that they may misuse their power once they have it. So they don't want to get to that place that they would even have that power to kind of protect themselves. Also, in some cases when people have misused their power, they also um, are afraid of spirituality or they may create like fear related to it. They may also have a feeling like something has happened, like I know, I feel that I used to be more evolved than I am now. And so maybe some of you, I don't know, have tapped into some previous incarnation that you had. And you could see yourself like as an evolved being. And then you look at your current self and you're thinking, well, well, it doesn't make sense, doesn't connect. Like, I'm quite sure I used to have more abilities open. Again, this may be the reason, but it doesn't have to be for everyone. You have to follow your soul's resonance. This is not a case for everyone, but maybe it applies to some of you. And so... Uh, those gifts were kind of shut down naturally as the, as the consciousness was gradually falling on the earth. And also in some cases somebody may have done it 
to you or for you, depending on the perspective. And in some cases, you may have done it to yourself. Also, in other cases, it's because of that misuse of power that those abilities and gifts shut down. And so, in each of those cases, what's important to keep in mind that there was some kind of reason. That reason may not be valid anymore. We are in a different times. Whatever has been the case, you have evolved. You have changed. And so it's time to learn to trust yourself. And again, to know your deepest intentions. Go back to your intentions. Let your intentions guide you. Take this time to connect to your heart consciousness and get clear on why you do the things you do and why you want the things you want. Get to know yourself and start building a new relationship with yourself. Because the solution is not to live in fear or subconscious fear forever. And also the solution isn't in having those gifts shut down forever. There needs to be some kind of healing, readdressing, understanding certain lessons and calling back your power. There needs to be some kind of change that will help you to connect to that part of you that you may have lost. So let me know in the comments below how this video resonates with you and if you have a feeling that your gifts may have been like, you know, shut down on purpose because there is a different kind of thing if they haven't developed yet. And another, another thing is if you feel like you just shut them down or someone have shut it down for you. So let me know in the comments below if you feel that this may be the case when it comes to your gifts. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.